In celebration of the Town of Versailles Bicentennial, Main Street Versailles proudly presents Our Town's History. Sharing a common border with the Town of Versailles, the Versailles State Park, Indiana's second largest park, sprawls over nearly nine and a half square miles of Ripley County. The park landscape has many steep hills, deep valleys, and is more than 90% forested. The park's a place of substantial beauty. The United States National Park Service announced in 1934 that it intended to create the first national park in Indiana. Eventually, more than 80 farms were acquired by the government, and more than 100 families were evicted from their properties. There was at least one school, a couple churches, and seven cemeteries located on the property. Locations of six of the cemeteries are known. Very soon after becoming president, Franklin D. Roosevelt created the Civilian Conservation Corps, the CCC. It focused on conservation and development of natural resources. In January 1935, 200 members of CCC Company 596 arrived in Versailles to create the new park. They created a stone quarry on the northwest corner of the park where thousands of stones were cut and shaped. While mostly reclaimed by nature, the quarry site is still visible. Much of the original stonework and buildings constructed by the CCC can be seen. Good examples are the stone walls along the entry drive to the park. Other places are, are the Oak Grove Shelter, the group camp, campground A's, shower houses, walkways, and other places in the park. Also, the CCC built the Hasmer Hill 4-H camp in the Hasmer Hill area. It was built in 1937 and completed its first year of operation in 1938. Hiking trails were created. In 1943, the parkland was deeded to Indiana. Plans were developed to build a large lake, originally planned to be approximately 720 acres. However, due to political concerns, the park decided to reduce the size of the lake to 230 acres, but even this wasn't possible to do at first because some of the land that was necessary for the lake basin was owned by a very industrious, hard-working family that it was the Stegemuller family. Remains of the Stegemuller home site are still very clearly visible. A point of interest is on July 4, 1912, members of the Stegemuller family carved their names on a large beech tree. The names are still clearly visible on the old tree. In 1954, constructing the 230-acre lake began using convict labor to clear the land. A dam was constructed lo across Lawfrey Creek. It wasn't until 1958 that the lake was full and water began flowing over the spillway. The popular 4-H camp was closed in 1977 and immediately destroyed. This was a very unpopular move and generated considerable local criticism. Also, a popular destination was the Lake Beach. However, as time went on, it was decided to be unwise to swim in the lake and a new modern swimming pool was constructed. Today, the park is a destination of several hundred thousand visitors annually, camping and hiking, picnicking and fishing and kayaking and birding and mountain biking and swimming are all popular activities. The Versailles State Park has three excellent campgrounds with 226 modern campsites. And for many experienced campers, uh, these campsites are regarded among the best. We have three different loops to our campground. They are loops A, B, and C, A being the oldest. Overall, we have about 230 electric-only sites, so we don't have full hookups here, but we do have a fill-up and a dump station. A new equestrian camp recently was activated so horse owners could bring their horse camping and ride their horses on the more than 30 miles of horse trails. 
So this is our horse campground facility. It is relatively new. We had our grand opening, I believe, in the 2017 recreation season. Uh, it's just now on our reservation system, so it's starting to gain a little more traffic. This year, we've seen it filled out every weekend. Uh, it's nice because it's still pretty small. There's only nine sites. So there's a lot of family groups and friend groups that will come and reserve the whole thing and kind of have it to themselves. And due to the Indiana Department of Natural Resources management policies, the Versail State Home Park is now home to most of the species of wildlife and plant life that was once native in the area. This includes most species of birds and flowers and trees, common Indiana. Of course, turkeys and deer and coyotes, fox and eagles and vultures and herons and many small animals and amphibians, not as commonly seen but present are bobcats and river otters and beavers. Campers will attest there are plenty of raccoons and visitors are encouraged not to feed them. We have the main office building as you first enter the park. It's got the flagpole and the statue out front. Uh, this space serves a purpose of giving guests the opportunity to come in and learn about the park before actually paying to enter the park. So we keep a lot of literature here for them to uh, read and ask questions. It also has the office manager, assistant property manager, and property manager's offices. And half of the building is the District 9 Indiana Conservation Officer Headquarters. Citizens have good reason to be proud of their parks. They're among the best in the state, among state parks in the country. And the Versailles State Park is among the best of the best. This video was made possible by the Friends of the Versailles State Park. Thank you for your support.